Alright. I can't tell if this is straight or not. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing another recipe video. This one is three cheap and quick and easy dinner recipes for students, or could really be for anyone. And um, because sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle thinking what you wanna have for dinner, and if you're trying to be healthy too, um, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to come up with ideas that are actually nice. Minimal ingredients, heaps versatile, and really cheap and quick. So, I hope you guys find this video helpful and maybe get some dinner ideas. Also, this is my first proper cooking video in the new kitchen. Quite like it, much better than my old one. Let's get straight into it. I feel like you're a little bit crooked. So don't mind me, I rolled my ankle the other day. Don't mind the noise in the background, I'm just defrosting some chicken. And so our first recipe that we're gonna be making is Mexican chicken baked thing. I don't really have a name for it. So first of all, I'm gonna start off by cutting up some vegetables. You gotta go, you gotta get your five servings of vegetables in. So this one, it isn't like a single serve recipe. You'd probably make it to have like multiple serves, then chuck it in the fridge or something. Or have some for dinner, some for lunch. So yes, I'm using capsicum. And like you choose vegetables that would go well being baked. So like I wouldn't say, you know, peas and corn because, but things like capsicum, cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, all of that stuff that is bakeable. Also, a random update, if you guys have seen my other videos where I talk about captain stuff. But at the last final stage, I've got my speech tomorrow. By the time it comes up, I would have had my speech. Um, I am scared, but you know what? Whatever happens, happens. i my best. That's all that you can really do. I don't know how tomorrow's gonna go, but I just wanna add a bit of extra or something. And so these vegetables, I'm not cutting them too thinly, just kind of like in chunks. So I'm just cutting up chicken now, just cause I don't want it to be like heaps. <laughs> Raw. You could use whatever sorts of whatever sorts of protein you like. Calm down, buddy. Okay. So the chicken is cooked. Like this recipe is just going to be like cooked in a pot sort of thing. I just add a bit of olive oil to the bottom so it doesn't stick. I'm going to cut up this chicken just into kind of smallish er bits. Um, again, like if you don't like chicken or you're vegetarian or vegan or whatever that you can use. Lots of other sources of meat. Right, so literally you're just going to chuck everything in, all of the vegetables. Right, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of chickpeas for something different. I've got this brown rice with a hint of turmeric thing. So I'm going to add about half of the pack in there. Right, so this is just like pre-cooked rice because I just genuinely don't have time. And so like if you're busy after school and don't really want to be like cooking rice and stuff or whatever, the pre-packaged stuff won't kill you. And so again, with like dinners, it's good to look for a source of protein, carbs and fat. Keep it balanced, keep it healthy. For flavor, I've got this Mexican chicken seasoning. It's pretty healthy. I'm just gonna add that in. And then give it a bit of a mix around. I don't know if I should add some water or something to this. I don't know why, just to give it a bit of moisture and help everything, you know, cook because it's... And then I'm gonna add like a little bit of oil too. I'm, I really just wing everything that I make. I don't. The exact measurements. This is what it looks like so far. I don't know if these settings are right on the oven. Because I don't actually use them in this house, but... Ow! Don't do what I do. Okay. Wish me luck and don't do what I do. Please be safe with ovens. All right, this stuff is done. What you can do now, you can see the vegetables are cooked. Strip it out, put it in a plate, and there you go. There you go, Mike. This right here is a go, healthy and balanced dinner idea that has a good flavor. Right, up to my second recipe, which is, what am I doing? I don't know, we're gonna wing it. Um, starting off with olive oil. Now, I literally just said to you all, don't do what I do, be safe with the oven. What do I do? I grab that stuff out the oven, I take the lid off with my hand, and now I'm getting blisters on my fingers. I'm really just a great role model. Now I'm going to cook some salmon uh, on the stove. I think I'm going to make like a curry sort of salmon sort of thing. Alright, so to season this, I've got this like lemon pepper seasoning with no salt. 
and I added salt. Bit of lemon. I'm gonna cook this salmon, make it all nice and crispy and flavorful. Then I've got this brown rice and quinoa. I've got this vegan curry sauce stuff and I'm gonna put some vegetables too. I'll make the vegetables, the rice and this together. And then I'm gonna have that crispy on top. We're gonna to make some sort of thing. I don't really know what to call it. Again, to make my life a thousand times easier, I've got this frozen stir fried mixed vegetable stuff. Sometimes frozen vegetables are actually healthier or have more nutrients in them than fresh veggies because sometimes in like holes and bullies and stuff, they cut the vegetables off of their plant very early so they haven't like fully grown. So then by the time they get to the shops, they're ripe. Whereas in this, they can just cut them as soon as they are fully grown. Chuck them in the freezer. So just a little knowledge there. We're almost done with this process. My salmon is cooked. I'm going to pour the steamed vegetables into here. I'm going to add the butter, not butter chicken, the curry sauce in. The rice. I'm going to so this is the curry sauce that I use. The ingredients are water, tomatoes, coconut cream, sambal oil, ginger, garlic, salt, cumin, coriander, some fancy mana, mana, mamajis, masala, and chili. So it's very, very nice. Vegan, no sugar, um, all of that stuff, and I like it a lot. All right, now that that's done. Alrighty, my last recipe is something that can also be kind of a breakfast, but sometimes if you have like a dinnerish meal for lunch, say like pasta or something, and you want something less mealy for dinner, one thing that I sometimes have is eggs on toast with halloumi. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make that now. So I've got this pepper halloumi. It's a type of cheese. It is very, very nice. And I'm gonna be using these tall little bread. Halloumi's cooked. It's a little bit crispy. That side's good. I'm going to add a little bit of four leaf mix to it. You need to make a whirlpool. Shit. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. Keep stirring it. In no, 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 you don't stir it when it's in there. No, I don't want all the fluff. Alrighty, we're done. Right. So we're just going to place it on here. Why does it look like cheese? Because it is. And then we're going to add pepper and a tiny bit of salt. And there you go. So that wraps up this recipe video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe got some inspiration for dinner ideas. Dinner ideas after school or work or whatever um, that are healthy. So if you guys enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe. All of that jazz. And I'll see you all in my next video.